My fellow frauders, as they sat at 504 East Locust Street on a cold Tuesday night, Settles, Truett, McNutt, Atkinson, and Mayer set out to create a fraternity that was different than others in their time. Frater Lester H. Martin, the first Grand Preakness, was once quoted saying that our founders set out to create an organization for the development of men to enable them to cope with the world when their school days were over and when they would be forced against the stern realities of life. Our founders and national founders were passionate about the Knights of Classic Lore and the organization which only a few years later became Talk Cap Epsilon. Their focus on mental development by studying classic literature is what inspired the original name. Though much has changed in Talk Cap Epsilon since 1899, their legacy has not. Their decision to select our membership by an individual's personal worth and character, not by their wealth, rank, or honor, had wisdom decades ahead of society at the time. This commitment to personal worth and character continues to be showcased as we further our efforts for diversity and inclusion through our 2025 strategic plan. As we look forward to the future of TalkCap Epsilon and fraternities as a whole, the expectations of today's society are much higher than ever before, but the expectations of ourselves remain constant. As you may know from our Declaration of Principles, we believe that a fraternity should be a brotherhood in conduct as well as in name. Secrecy that is promoted for selfish purposes or utilized to cloak fraternal wrongdoings, we unsparingly condemn. We believe that at no other period in the life of a man is the time more opportune for the fostering of such qualities than during the years of his college career. I believe that Tall Kappa Epsilon has the ability to lead the fraternal world by living our Declaration of Principles, to set a new standard for what fraternity means, to showcase living our values of love, charity, and esteem to achieve what our founders set out to accomplish. To achieve that, Talk Cap Epsilon needs your help. As faithful frauders in Talk Cap Epsilon, each of us continues to develop our own abilities. Talk Cap Epsilon needs more frauders to contribute those abilities and financial resources to allow Teak to be successful. We must all work together for the good of the fraternity. Today, on our 123rd Founders Day, and throughout 2022, I encourage you to engage with Teeks 123, connect, celebrate, and contribute. Connect today with the fraternity on myteak.org. Celebrate with your fellow frauders by sharing on social media the memories of your fraternal experience using hashtag IamTeak. And contribute to Life Loyal Teak to help impact the future of Talk Cap Epsilon at teak.org backslash LLT. Your engagement in Talk Cap Epsilon will help to define our future. I challenge you to live the fraternity for life by contributing your time and financial resources to ensure that we not only survive these challenging times, but thrive and continue the success that we have all enjoyed. For us to achieve what our founders set out to accomplish, the fraternity for life needs you. Will you answer the call? Frauders, I love the fraternity.